guys, how's it going? Um, I want to talk about grading cards, and, and this is kind of a big one. I currently have zero graded cards. I love trading cards, guys. I got but I got trading cards over here. I still haven't opened. I got all kinds of stuff. I mean, I got all kinds of stuff sitting like right next to me of uh, trading cards. I'm still opening it up for sets and things like that. So um <clears throat> I used to really be a fan of baseball back in the nineties and early two thousands, but I haven't really collected uh baseball cards since. Um but but I do like a lot of other ones. I got tons of books sitting down here loaded with different cards. So, but I do still have baseball cards from the 90s and 80s and things like that. But I did send out with GameStops now setting up the PSA trading um, where you can drop off cards to get traded or, or graded, not traded, graded at GameStop. I took up an old Frey Thomas card I had from like 1994. It was a one of 10,000 type deal. So, um, not not a like a really valuable card, like twenty bucks. I just wanted to have one graded card in a sense, right? But I had this plan to actually take some other stuff, like this Superman Returns special card, you know. Um, like for an example, this King Griffey Jr. Uh, maybe eventually my longest always rookie card. You know, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, even these cheap Pokemon cards that I got, right? Um, that are that are my boys' um, Pokemon cards. But I started asking myself some questions because the fact is, it gets really expensive to start grading cards. Baseball cards are twenty bucks. You know, your other cards are what, maybe seventeen, eighteen, and. Um, and that's if they're under a certain value, which I don't have anything that's expensive at all. But, but, so I started saying, okay, well, I started looking on YouTube. I'm just kind of watching people. Man, people are going crazy, getting cars graded, doing all kinds of stuff, you know. And I want to kind of talk about that and talk about my what I'm kind of thinking is going to happen with these graded cards. Everybody's out getting graded. So the first thing I kind of ask myself is, why why am I grading? You know, why so basically I was just asking, why are you grading your card? If somebody came to me and asked me, I, I see two options. It's either for resale or personal collection. Personal collection can also be like considered an investment. You're kind of holding on to it. So maybe 20 years from now it's worth a little bit more, you know? And then um but then when you say personal collection, you gotta ask yourself again, why do you want a graded collection? Card. Why do you want a graded card collection, right? Go, so, well, my answer is I love the way the cards are displayed in slabs. Resolution, just buy the blank slabs and put them in, put them in and your slab yourself and put your own uh, deal on it. So, like your own little label. Well, let's keep going here. So, I, you know, for me, I don't really care for graded cards. I just like the slabs and you can buy the slabs they're not very expensive and so i went and started doing some more just seeing what i could find how many cars does psa grade a year because that's what GameStop's using in 2023 they did 13 and a half million cars in 2022 11 plus million cars somewhere around there that's these are kind of estimates they're not exact numbers um 2021 it's looking like somewhere around seven and a half million cards it could have been a little bit more, but you notice the trend is going up. Now, I was like, well, how many cards has been graded by PSA? And they're saying just over 40 million. We're looking at three years here and almost, and over half, half of the cards they have graded since 1991 haven't been in a three-year span. So kind of going, well, like what kind of stuff is people grading? It sounds like, you know, we're just, like for me, right? I'm going to send in this $2 card uh pokemon card to grade right and it's gonna cost me 17 dollars to grade a two dollar card it, it it seems pointless i i kind of understand the grading for high value uh cards but like these days everybody's flooding the market with just anything so let's keep going down so how many cards are on ebay versus selling on ebay well i looked it up and it looks like currently there's almost like 2.4 million cards listed on ebay 
for just PSA. And 1.2 PSA cards have sold in the last 30 days. So that's coming up like 40,000 cards are selling a day on eBay. 14 and a half million cards are sold every sold yearly. So that's a pretty big number. That's about that's getting close to that 40 or 50 percent of the cards that are being graded are being resold sold. They could be, be being bought and then resold again and resold again. You know, don't know. And there's still a lot of them sitting there every day. There's probably still just so many cards being added on um, to eBay. So how are they selling on eBay? Eight hundred thousand over the like the last thirty days is sold by auctions, a half a million by buy it now. It's with with almost you know with three hundred thousand of those five hundred thousand sixty percent being uh, accepted offer offers. So so what values did they sell under? So um, as you can see here, three hundred forty thousand of those were under twenty bucks. 235,000 under, you know, 20 to 35. And you can kind of see this number, and it looks like the big number is anything over $100, right? $50 and up was looking really good. Um, what types of grades are being sold? So 66,000, that means everything from anything that PSA undergrade um, six, so a 5.5, a five, anything below. There were 66,000 of those sold. Between six and eight, so like your six and seven, 7.5, 94,000. Um, eights in general, eights, 8.5, so there's 158,000 sold. Nines, right, 9.5, 410,000 sold, and then 10 is 580. You see, it definitely matters the grade. The better the grade, the more that are sold. Okay, so. I took these numbers and I started comparing them here. So eights and lower, eights and lower, they average less than twenty dollars a card. And this is where I get this number. Now this obviously isn't every card because you're going to have some really high valuable cards that don't fit into that criteria. But if you look here for just the average card that's being done, you can add up the numbers. There's three hundred forty thousand cards under twenty bucks that sold. If you look here. This number is pretty close to that. That's everything from eights down to ones or halves or whatever. It's a pretty close, right? That number is pretty close. So basically, for your average card, this is the average card. This average card right here, if, it, if this ranks an eight, I can assume I'm not going to make more than $20, right? So I, I, I would lose money because it's going to cost me $17 to grade it. And, um, yeah, it just, it doesn't, okay, so that's kind of like a big issue, right? And then, so you got 410,000 nines that sold, and the same thought, right? If you come look at cars from 35 to to $100, that number is pretty, you know, it's a little bit higher, but it's pretty close to this 410,000. And obviously, there's cars that fluctuate that don't match the criteria, the, you know, the high-end cards or whatever. We're just talking about a baseline average concept here. Um, so if you pull a nine, you may be looking 35 to 50 bucks, right, on, a, on an average card. But most cards aren't going to fit that criteria. This card right here, if it was a nine, I doubt I'd pull 35 bucks off of it or 50, right? I mean, I may get, I may get 25. I may pull 30. You know, it's possible. I, I don't know. It, it could take me a long time to sell it. And in tens, tens, if you look at the number five hundred eighty thousand, we're looking at anything like fifty and above, which sounds which sounds possible. You know, even if I pulled a ten on this, I I I could see struggling to get it to get fifty on it. But you never know; it could be possible. It's only a two dollar card. Like, how would a two dollar card be worth fifty? I just don't think it's possible. The Superman card, which has it. You can't tell in the package. It has a couple little dings in it. So in reality, at maybe at the best, a nine here, which I think this car sells around fifty bucks as a nine. But um, as a ten, it could be even more. You know, I don't know. It's it's just an example. It's just kind of a concept. Basically, what I'm getting at is, um, we're going through this thing. If you look. 
really since what COVID, you know, what's been happening over the last few years, go look on YouTube, guys. There's people opening cards, opening packs, getting all kinds of cards back from from PSA and stuff like that. Graded cards. You got the mystery card packs. I, I'm, I'm just seeing a bunch of influence. It, it's kind of what I feel like I'm seeing. I'm not seeing... Um, I'm seeing a bunch of influence. It's a lot of new cards, like fresh stuff being graded right out of the packs. Not old vintage vintage cards, but like brand new stuff every year. I think most of being graded is all brand new stuff. And I, I wish I had something pulled up. Maybe I'll pull something up. We can look at that next. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'm going to pull something up. We'll take a look at it. All right. All right, fellas. I pulled up TCG cards on PSA. Um, so we can look here. You can see the total number of sets. The total, basically the total amount graded. Over 16 million cards graded that are like, TCG cards. I don't know what that all implies. My guess is going to be like Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, things like that. But let's just look at these numbers. They're obviously going to, let's start at, let's start at 2000. Let's not even worry about everything. You can see 2000, 2001. These are most likely going to be Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh that got hit up pretty hard. I think 1999 was mainly Pokemon. But um, let's just look at what happened. You see all these cards, they're in the hundreds of thousands, 2010, 2012, low numbers here, not not a very big popular. 2016, I, I don't know what happened there, 2018, but we get to 2019 and these numbers start kind of getting up in the millions, right? Like every, every year, that's almost 2 million, that's 1.7, 2023, 2.5 million cards. 2024, that's a half a million. And not sure when that was updated. I'm guarantee you it's a lot higher higher than that, but maybe not. Um but look at all these that are just in the last 20 years, right? I mean, well, let's not even look back that far. Let's look back the last 10 years. To everything in 2014. But look before 2014 at what's been graded. These numbers, they're other than these being pretty significant, because these are um, these were probably like popular years for Pokemon. I think the first couple of years of Pokemon cards, so that that kind of makes sense. But these numbers on the old stuff, people are not grading vintage cards other than old vintage Pokemon and maybe Yu-Gi-Oh and and Magic the Gathering, things like that, but mainly everybody's grading stuff that's less than 10 years old. And I think most of this is all related to all the influence on uh, YouTube. People are just getting cards graded for, you know, everybody's trying to get to be like this YouTube star. And go type, go type it in. You'll see how many, there's millions of people watching these Pokemon card openings, Pokemon, um, cards getting graded, all kinds of stuff, and these guys are pulling tons of packs of cards, and they're pulling out low-value cards, and every once in a while, they may pull out a high-value. I mean, it is ran strictly as, like, a gambling. It feels like they're they're doing a gambling thing, because even though they may be doing it for collecting, but they run it off that, hey, look, you you know, you may find this $3,000 card. You should get, you know, it I don't know. It's kind of like one of those things that makes you want to go out and get cards graded, right? Um, I don't know, man. I, I'm just looking here. This just doesn't look good, guys. I All this stuff that's new, um, what's the point? Like, why are they getting cards from, let's say, 2023 graded? Uh, can we even look to see what the values of some of these are? I mean, you can look. How many tens are graded? Like at 1.7, what, what 1.7 million cards graded as a 10? I mean, look at this. The, the numbers are kind of insane when you look at that. Um, you can look at what cards being 
mostly graded. Let's look to see if we can find it here. 179. What is this? I, I guess it's just the set. And then you can go down and see which one's the most popular in that set. Which I don't think it'll let me actually click on it. Shop with affiliates. Um, so I guess that's, I don't know if that's a card that's actually selling, but you can see they're mints and current bid is $10. I guess, you know, they put them out hoping that the price goes up, but I don't know, fellas. I, I just, I'm, I'm seeing like this big crash. I've seen a crash of this stuff coming. And it's maybe it's not the high, the high value stuff. It's the low value stuff. I thought somebody was walking in on me. Um, it's this low value stuff. Everybody's flooding the market with this stuff, and um, I think it's mainly for YouTube videos and people watching YouTube videos, and everybody's getting influenced to go do it. I'm sitting here, and I'm going to tell you guys, I think, in my opinion, you should slow down grading cards. Go see what I'm talking about. Just go see how many people are putting out cards, grading cards, how many millions of views is getting, why this stuff is blowing up like this. You know, I love my, I love the baseball players in the 90s, but the reality is the cards were, were made in so much bulk. They're not really worth much, but those were the cards, those were the players, the 80s and 90s that that I grew up with that, you know, I, I love the players of that time era. There were so many great superstars. And, um, but I also know if, if I go into a, a car store and this was to the early 2000 or even in the nineties, uh, if I went in there like in 1998 with a card that in the Beckett show, that was an $80 card. It was from 1994. Dude, they wouldn't take it from me. They said, we don't take these cars. They, even then, they would tell me, we only trade in cards from the 70s or they wouldn't touch cards in the 80s or 90s. Now, everybody's jumping into these special variants that this was a variant in the pack, right? Um, this is like a special variant. So, everybody's getting into these special variant cards even today, and they're like, oh, they're sending them in for grading. I mean, who's going to want them? You know, sure, this is an awesome card. It's King Griffey Jr., but it's not the same. It's not the same as a game card. Like this picture was while like it was actually batting, right? It was like in the middle of a, a game. I don't know. I I just see I, I just see something pretty I just see it all going down. You, when you're putting so much into the market, guys, there's so many being graded every day. There's so many being sold every day. Eventually, eventually something's gonna crack. Who's who's buying all these graded cards? Obviously, we know people are buying packs just so they can get the cards that they think were past the 10 and they're sending them in to get graded. So you got your resellers. But who's buying all this stuff? Somebody's gonna lose a lot in the end. Somebody's gonna crash. Like, is it like who's buying all these cards? Is it wealthy people? Is it collectors? Is it people looking to reinvest like what's going on i don't know something something doesn't seem right i'm just going to tell you guys that there's a lot of influence out there right now on oh man i got a 10 on this Yu-Gi-Oh card or on this pokemon card and it's like this big craze but it's gonna it's gonna come down i it looks like it looks like the 90s all over again fellas it looks like tops and all that they're starting to add in all these variants trying to get people to buy the boxes the values of the boxes are going up crazy um from my opinion, I think um don't don't chase the craze. I'd imagine we're probably gonna see some crazy things happen over the next few years with this. Eventually it's gonna come to a, a burnout. So and then if you want some great cards, you may be able to get them cheap then. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you think. Do you think I'm right that there's something kind of like this stuff probably is going to come crashing down at some point. Or um, are you 100% on with the, the grading? Because let me ask you something. What makes 
getting this card any more valuable. I mean, I like the cases they come in, but the card itself is still worth the same amount, whether it's graded or it's not graded to somebody. I mean, you, I think you get a bigger group of people that are willing to pay for, that want graded. They're like, in, like I said, they're in this graded craze, but I, I think it's unnecessary. But um, guys, have a great one, and I'll speak to you guys soon.